Hello, friends. Today we're going to play uh, an indie game I found. Oh, uh, on Twitter. That looks cool. So I grabbed it. We're going to check it out. Shit, wait, I may need to, uh, oops, uh oh, let me, uh, there we go, it looked like it was kind of up my alley, so. Let's do it. This is... wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. No, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, I think this yeah. part is a little poorly written. Who is Carmine? He was driver was of 14FC. watching a stream in it. What happened to him? He, That's okay. He retired last month. It gets better, Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I, I didn't realize. Your <laughs> so I, I, uh, I was watching this being streamed on Steam. That's like a little preview of the game. I didn't realize it was like the very beginning of the game when I was watching. <laughs> but navigating a hava around Navalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now this city. This is as high as I can go here. Miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to oh, and that's as low as I can go. Instructions here. when you arrive. Thanks, Which... Control. Oh, headquarters is pretty uh, bang. Okay. One more thing, 14 FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. I think Cloudpunk is the name of the company that I work at, or some shit. Fuck these roads. It's a little, uh, takes a little getting used to. First person view. I'm okay with third person. Blocks. Bunch of blocks. Fourteen FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. 
Not exactly the rich part of town. The kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. So those Carmenus aren't walls, was a they're just driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 oh, years. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. How about the driver before him? Oh, 14 FA. <laughs> Lasted one night. I don't know what that <clears throat> two means. Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another. Yeah, you seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery. Maybe they're don't cops ask what's or something. In the package. Everything else is just guidelines. Can you stop lowering ass face? Jesus. I'm enjoying the music. Oh. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not particularly bothered by the graphics so far. Hey, uh, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? It's kind of like um... they go up and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's kind of like playing on a it's in a Lego world ceilings. a little bit. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. Sorry, just making a. I like that it's like joke. it feels like Go a ahead, Grand Theft Auto type of game. Alphas are tuned to a vertical field so far. frequency, based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. Um, well, I mean, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's definitely an indie team, so, you know. Well, that's true. It's You're probably a lot easier to build a game like this fields. than, than Even it is to, like, do full 3D graphics. That are off the grid, but the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the it. spire, too, right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. It auto-switched the view that time. Interesting. So you can still play it like this. Which is, uh... Uh, it's interesting as well. Tell me some fruits. No, can't talk to that person. I think you can talk to some of these characters. Maybe not. Oh, like this one. Did you try the okonomiyaki? Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? What? <laughs> no. There's a free meal in it for you. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. <laughs> That's perfect! <sighs> <laughs> Be really green. Yep. I I mean I like that it's fully voice acted. That's pretty uh that's pretty uh real feat for uh a um, 
indie game. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Even right if here, the Mr. voice Carpenter. acting is not, you know. B please, call me Irwin. Triple A T. from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Just think. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments. No expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. And Sputnik. The NASA shuttles. The UN Interplanetary 101. Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Those parents died, huh? Nice. Oh, that's a very plain looking woman. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Good job, kid. Damn it. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. So, um... What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, what can I sell? Oh, blue flower. My old flute. Huh. Thanks. Um. Hey, come back anytime, lady. <laughs> I like that voice actor. Um. So, uh, like, you can tell, you know, it was just based on like. Like character design and stuff like that, you can tell that a ton of time was saved uh, in development. Going with the pixel style. Uh, this one's fine. So you know, good on them, I guess. Load Hova AI. Load assistant. Load computer. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not <laughs> sir. 
My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic <coughs> automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a, it was Now, itch. just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer oh. cost to unlock the automata is 1,500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. I thought it was going to be Please a running insert gag. storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality camis will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. <laughs> um. Uh, merchant district. I mean, I do think that, that, like, probably the initial idea was to, um, you know, uh, make it like those pixel art, uh, city things that you, uh, you see on the internet. But you can tell it's definitely indie. I mean, I mean, look at the animations on the, on the character, you know? Pretty obvious. Driver. Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk. All right, here's a package. Don't open it. Don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? Mm-hmm. I think it's a robot, but it sounded like a person. I like that. Come in, 14 FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your Hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. You know, traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority. I, I'm glad that they 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 didn't like even though they have all these inter uh, transit. Making sure business continues as usual. Uh, inner transit like uh, cutscenes or, or like areas where you go in between areas and it hits a little loading screen due to uh, probably lack of uh, technical open world experience um, even though that's the case they still uh, pull off here uh, even though that's the case the um, uh, what
Um. God, what was I saying? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. That like uh. Even though even though the 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 thing is like split up into several areas, probably because they use some sort of a you know a game engine, maybe Unity or something to create this game. Um. They split the world into sections via these like loading screens, uh, but the cutscenes don't like interrupt the loading screens. And I mean, uh, they, they, the loading screens don't interrupt the cutscenes. I think I landed in the wrong area. <laughs> Give me a hot dog. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Why are all the vendors? Why do all the vendors sound like? Thanks for this. Red. Uh. Y'all come back. You hear? Red. Uh, red nicks. The last one did too. Can I use this vending machine? No. I do like the way that, uh, you know, it's got that kind of... That cyberpunk-esque feel, you know, with neon and the, the way that the lights are kind of uh, fuzzy and... I don't know. So I'm guessing all merchants sell you shit. You're the guy, huh? I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No! Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm, the smell makes them curious. What's in the package? Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. <laughs> What are you? Punch card. Huh. I'm still not so sure if this is strictly a delivery game or if there's more. You know? 14 FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Can't go but in any of the cities. We messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloud Punk. Or me. Oh, so where are we in illegal operation? Oh shit. I don't have a security code, do I? I don't know. I think there's an item over here. Last to steal part. Are you experiencing heartache, depression, apathy, vaguely defined ennui? Huh. Then check out this season's best selling emotional immunization at Immune One. And a lot of these uh, future cities um, type environments in media. Uh, things like. Uh, Meat is uh, a rarity. 
I mean, could you imagine raising cows in an environment like this? Oh, look at the train. Oh, it's a single, single train. Where's a the parking lot? A lot of the meat in, in that case ends up being, uh, you know, human meat. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, I'm sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here, then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. I wonder if this counts as like a side quest. What is this? Teleportation! Okay. Oh, that's pretty neat. Go back. I'm supposed to go to this corpse sack. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? <laughs> Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never no. heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can yes. hear me. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our server said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Want to play us some music? Maybe another time. Thanks. I mean, based on the menu system, it almost seems like it's going to be some sort of a point-and-click adventure type situation. Yo, what is up, listeners? This your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout-out from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck-up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies oh, to shit. trick men. 
But she doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? It's like we found train wrecks. That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? And your show is about... Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Uh, let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We gotta find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell, and I, I gotta go. <laughs> wow, you didn't have to call him toxic. Holy shit, look at how big this fucking guy is. Automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. Camus, are you there? It's you. She could be a cam girl. You. Oh my god, it's a you? dog. That's cute. Happy? What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? <laughs> no, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. This is it cute. will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh, no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. <sighs> yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good, though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited, and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out. But you'll get there. I'm... sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And, Camus, I missed you too. <laughs> so unusual. All right, so now what? Oh, there we go. Ah, heck with it. Let's just get on the freeway here. Oh, not enough. We sent someone else. We need you to... Damn it. Sorry. We Oops. need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Maybe I can get my uh, slot upgraded. Cosmetics, bro. Okay. I wonder where the game is going to take me, you know? The story seems interesting, the writing doesn't seem bad, so... I'm, uh... Hopeful at the at this moment. I can get some gas. Let's do it. Damn, 
gas is expensive, bro. Wonder what kind of gas a hover vehicle would take, huh? Probably some sort of hydrogen fuel. I wish I understood what these things were about. There's something back this way. Oh, a drug dealer, huh? What's up, bro? You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Juice! <laughs> Golden brown high with a steady come down. Everyone knows juice was a legal stimulant until the drug company failed to pay their kickback to corpse sec. Stimulating brain muscle tissue to give you that extra boost. Thanks. You maybe folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. Maybe I'll check it out after I know what the fuck is going on with this story. Probably not the best thing to do to start a game becoming a junkie. Juice. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait, I know how. I think. <laughs> what is box? A box is a square cube. No, what is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. Something else we can pick up over here. I don't know if it matters to pick up all this shit. Guess I'll just keep picking it up. Good, I'm trying to, you know, know what this fucking game is about. I have to run from the cops or something. I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. <laughs> control, why oh, is shit. this package ticking? 
Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? Deliver the package. I am nervous bro. because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe <laughs> I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus, I know. I just have to make a call on this one. Mm, let's blow up the city. We're paid to do a job paid to have feelings about it. Oh, shit. Oops. Bumped into that boy. Ah, fucker. <laughs> Where's this parking spot at? I see it on the map. Is it up? Must be up. Oh yeah, it's up. I mean, I'm sure that whoever gets blown up is probably a bad person, so. <clears throat> Whatever. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. <laughs> Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Camus. Okay. Okay. Here's there's nothing else in this little little area. Driver fourteen FC, this is control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right, well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. I wonder You'll why the, I wonder why the delivery out. point was a garbage can. Strange, you know. I am really enjoying flying around this, uh, Hover car thing. Well, but the but the the normal package delivery point was also a trash chute, so it's kind of it's kind of strange in that way, you know.
face looks familiar. Oh, maybe I can go in the front. Do door. you need some stems? Damn, lady. Ooh, triggering a social response in your favor. Sure. Thanks. See you again soon. This is where the shit is here. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? B965E. You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Which door? Driver 14FC, this is Control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery. I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just... Uh, what was that? I oh. don't know, Driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No. Well, it was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... Unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for driver 14 FC Transferring additional funds now Why am I being given more money? Control? Um, driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs uh, That's in the rules I thought they were guidelines, not rules Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries Control out Control? Right, what? Control! Camus, are you on comm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a what big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we Damn. do that? No. Damn. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Oh, maybe it's here? But we blew up a hospital. Who cares? Women. Their emotions. <laughs> Just around. Um. Here we go. This is where I'm supposed to be. There we go. Alright, where the package at? Must be the package. I knew it. Purple. Coolant. Oh shit. Damn it. What the hell? If only I had some coolant. Hello. supposed to talk to the box I completely understand uh, uh, are you an Android too Camus fine you can answer him Camus I am an automata I am a dog or a car I am a dog car how strange hey fella you're a box I am in a box my name is William what are you if you're not a box I told you, I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. 
In a way, that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Maybe you'll be hunted for sport. Because that's what rich people do, right? Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, <laughs> I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of course, I will be too rich and too busy to learn to play. But I might get some oh, ornaments so that I can here. perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Oh. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. We had to move to the city. Oh, why? Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. We're not supposed to speak to them either. I am sad. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you will have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm oh, okay. sure Getting out something stop good. The I traded either. my nice. old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the spire. Surely they have the best android frames there too. Oh. Must have got too close to the next what objective. For? Whatever it is, I got it. Yeah, you get some coolant. Red boots. Thanks. I want, I want coolant. Can you come back anytime, lady. Damn. So the dialogue does need to be waited on. You travel too fast to the next destination. What do you call the lift? Let's go back now. Reginald Buckley. Look at this city. Oh, here's the lift. Just had to wait for it, I guess. I'm trying to think if I feel like really bad about the uh, delivering that bomb to that place. 
Maybe I should have uh, not done that. I should have dropped it in the trash. I mean, I think there are ways to do pixel graphics correctly, and I think this game does, you know, get, get to that point, I would say. Aren't some of the newer Deus Ex games well like that? Here's what I can offer you today. <sighs> yeah, looks like Johnny Depp. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, and uh, and I I mean I presume that Cyberpunk uh, twenty seventy seventy. Hello, we have a delivery. Seventy seven. His name like is this. William. I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android Supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley, Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. <laughs> the Senior Refuse Disposal Officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux Cleaning Unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3,287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. Oh, I got a speed booster. Edo. What, this game or Cyberpunk? Miss William. I do not. Oh. Okay. Me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a cloud punk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. I made some good Maybe money today. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. I mean, uh, hopefully it's not like 600 credits a night, because I think that's what I made today, so.
But this is day one, huh? What are you? A plastic parts. Um, yeah, I'm having fun with it. It's pretty cool for an indie game. Seems kind of like it's go going for that, you know, that that uh, old school uh, Grand Theft Auto type vibe, you know. Um, with more pickup stuff. The topless man on the cover, um, but you know, like uh, what you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. God. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Uh, but yeah, kind of like uh. Like that original, like, GTA 3 type style, you know, where you're mainly doing, like, driving missions around an open world type setting. Do I know you? Do I know you? What? If I knew you, I might not know. Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Are you with the Debt Corp? Or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Shouldn't you be in your apartment, then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? I want to know if I know you. If we used to know each other. If we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. You're an android, right? So, did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Okay. Mm see what the inside of my apartment is. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Upgrades. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Uh, do me a favor, Camus. <laughs> Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. 
Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a I'm bonus slain. tonight, maybe I can buy a picture or a mirror or something. I thought I did get a bonus for um, blowing up that depot. Damn it. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Look at this circle straight sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah. This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. What infractions? I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is? A relic. Dr. Zizit's liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So, where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B, while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Novalis's safety protocol algorithms, the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her. But thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry, so the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was, but Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends, I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look There's out for each other. Them, huh? Yes. Neighbors. I got four out of the 20. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what game you're referring to there, Kips. Uh, the, uh... Cloud something. At least now I know what the punch cards are for. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. 
Uh, I haven't dropped any frames on my end, so it may just be because I'm streaming at a higher frame rate and higher uh, bit rate. Oh shit, whoops, I didn't mean to park. There's a few of those uh, punch cards here. I think that's what those blue items are. Ah, ah. Sometimes the camera gets all fucky. Aren't the punch cards? Were the punch cards a white symbol? Mm -hmm. yeah, I might as well grab all the shit while I'm here. Oh, is that the coolant? Nice. Have you seen my little one? She must be here somewhere. Little one? My white snapper, my little mouse. Have you seen her? Um, no, sorry. White snapper. Damn tourists. Master Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. Liquid Sun. Hibernetic That'll arm. be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. <laughs> all right, Nestor Cray. your little white snapper the mouse uh, who uh, forget it Is there a mouse around here See anything that looks like that? Joe Ham. Hey, lady, you should try our noodles. We fried them with the chili, out like they do out east. Why Yummy. do you think I'd want that? Cause you ain't from around here, am I right? Do I stand out that much? Sure, but you're talking to a guy with half a metal face, 
I don't exactly blend in here either. In Navalis you do. I see lots of people with augments. These aren't augments, lady. I was in the war. That's where I learned to cook. Well, I don't like chili oil in my ramen. How about gyoza? Gyoza is a different story. You got any? We did, but now I can't justify making more than two or three dishes. No one comes by here no more. How come? See that elevator over there? It went nuts, and now it won't carry people up to the transit station. This was the main route to catch the train. Without the elevator, no one walks by. The elevator went nuts? Yeah, it sure did. I tried to talk sense into it, but it says it will only talk to an automata. The damn thing told me humans are only good for eating. Maybe I could talk to it. It don't talk to people. I have an automata. Maybe he can help. Knock yourself out, lady. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. Check out this video. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely more of the cyberpunk uh, type. look like in this world. Um, hello? Are you the elevator that eats people? I am Gorgothor, shit. child of Kara, a destroyer of worlds. Hear my roar and quake in fear, for I will consume all mankind. Uh-huh. Listen, Gorgothoa, my friend Joe isn't getting any business because people can't use you as an elevator anymore. Any chance you could go back to just moving people up and down? The destruction of mankind is my goal. Nothing <laughs> less will satiate my hunger. I will speak no further with your kind. I consume humans. I do not converse with them. Camus, come in. Are you getting all this? Can you talk to Gorgothoa, please? Hello, Mr. Gorgothoa. I am Camus, an automata just like you. You are nothing like me. I consume the souls of humans. You serve them. How do you consume them? Within my belly, I swallow them whole. But then, where do they go? What do you mean? They just get out again, but on a different floor. That is what the humans want, so you are serving them too. Nonsense! I excrete only the waste. But what? you are not working now. I mean, you are not eating them. I grow weary of their flavor. We need to convince him that he's not really eating the people. No, I have another idea. Gorgothua, what do humans eat? I do not understand. Well, you need to eat humans to survive, and they need to eat to survive too. Have you tried ramen? Why would I waste my time with human food? Well, you're broken right now. I mean, you're not eating humans anymore. They taste bad, right? What if you ate some ramen with them? Perhaps. What if every human came with a side order of ramen? A delicious noodle side dish. What if I tire of ramen? Then there is always gyoza. Very well. If humans come to me with ramen, I will take them up to... I mean, I will willingly consume <laughs> them. Thanks, Gorgothua. 
little storyline. Uh, shit. And dreams matter. Only 3D print your subconscious while you wait. Make your dreams uh, something you do. Dreams matter. <sighs> well, if you wanna, if you wanna link me, Cloud. Uh, built. I can take a look at it. I don't uh, play a lot of speedrun games, though. I have some very good, very weird news for you. The elevator working again? Yes, but only for people carrying a bowl of ramen. That's... that's amazing! I can put up signs. Free elevator ride with every bowl. Don't thank me. Thank my automata, Camus. Hey, thanks to the both of yous. I'm gonna whip up a batch of gyoza as a thank you. Come back next week or any week after, and you don't gotta pay me nothing for your dumplings. Nice. <sighs> Free dumplings. Cool, cool. Games that are specifically de designed for speedrunning are not as much fun to speedrun, I find. Although it does look fun to play. The art style is pretty interesting. I mean, for me, I mean, other people like it. I mean, that's a uh, speedrunner's game. People like that. I didn't as much care for that one. Faster, smarter, stronger. Find the real you. That's cool. Yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah. At least for me, when it comes to speedrunning, the most uh, interesting games to like do speedrunning with are games that uh, are not intended to be sped run. You know, uh, one of the games I've been watching recently is is people doing uh, Terraria and trying to speedrun it, like do all bosses speedruns and stuff like that. randomization of the um, I'm just gonna get all the shit in this area the randomization of the game doesn't lend itself well to to speedrunning but that's part of what makes it fun to watch hey come here a minute why we want to talk to you so talk what do you do Delivery driver? You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're We're saying sassy, number number acting two. Acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor. Are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4.0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? 
Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh, what? yeah. Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens <laughs> on corporate waste ground. <laughs> Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus Real that will get you in more shit. trouble than fucking with corporate property. <laughs> we would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloud Punk. We see you later. I like these. I like these guys. Block four out, huh? I like it. Okay, so it's the white ones that are the punch cards, huh? Good to know. Also, if they're illegal, then why do they have their name on the building? <laughs> right? Look at this. But will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec? We don't look like undercover corpse sec. What would undercover corpse sec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus. You know, I'm I'm pretty impressed with the I guess the I guess the fl the flight driving system roadway system thing, you know. It it reminds me a lot of like uh, you know, the movie versions of this type of thing. I want to say uh, like like Star Wars had its its type of hover car traffic system situation and then uh, and then you know Blade Runner of course and uh, Fifth Element that kind of stuff I think they did a pretty nice job with it is there not a parking lot around here <laughs> when you start moving around before the camera finishes, it's very uncinematic. And the music's good. It's one of those things that, you know, you don't really think about. But it's nice. Kind of reminds me of, um, you know, like a oh, arena. Huh? Kinda reminds me of uh, like Tron Legacy. I'm 
I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Juice! Tram and all bottles. Corpsack aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. Go find some fucking... Find a drug dealer. Oh, there just happens to be one right here. Big narco. <laughs> you from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Juice. Thanks. Thanks for the juice. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. How could he tell that I'm uh, not a corpse sec? Because I'm Asian. But the other guy could, you know, kind of makes you wonder. I assume from the east means Asian. She look kind of Asian. I don't know. Brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Cool. Look at this club. This shit looks banging. What's up, Lomo? I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania. I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? Sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nivalis. And some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Thanks, Shlomo. You there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, 
can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Kid, you there? Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Camus, are you there? Here? Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere, and there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemist. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. I want to see if I can get this shit that's over in this other block. little spot. In the rain. What can I get you? It is kind of always raining in this city, isn't it? Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. I'd like to learn how to cook gyoza. He's got a weird shaped head. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Simpsons character. It's nice that it doesn't like feel bad to like go off the grid. Oh, 
Oh, oh, ah, fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I can repair while I'm here. No. God damn it. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. <laughs> You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. I thought it was interesting. Well, can I not get my shit repaired while I'm here? Sir? Oh, there we go. Please remember that unlike this jazz and the ballad is punishable by death. Those who wish to experience or perform jazz must apply for a yearly permit. Is never slow Joe are you part of the race I've got a drive converter for him they went already I'm the start line can I head them off I'm really just here to wave them off miss damn it control are you on the comm what do I do the race has already started I'm here Joe won't get far without that part I'm giving you a nav point seems like he might have broken down already seriously you have to complete this job remember what we told you when you signed up no failures. Or without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. So get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to be here. I think I'm... I think I'm supposed to be in the air. Ah, oh, here he is. Oh, I do need to go down there. Whoops. It is cool, Sweet Pea, at least so far. Never slow Joe's gonna have to wait for me to fucking pick up this item over here. Ooh. Rare video game tape. Here's what I could. Thanks. I look forward to seeing. It's currently on sale for 25% off. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding. Nari? No. I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivellis. 
Sorry, Tico. I think you might be getting confused. There is only Navalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright, far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day... It is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. That robot is fucked up. I guess there's no real time time pressure on this mission. Uh, how do I get this object? Up above, maybe? Take the elevator. Go up there anyway. What is up above? I knew how to use those hollow deck things for the cash. All right, never slow, Joe. Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm going to give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe, you hear? Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you'd drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Weird, because he looks like a black guy, but he's a white no guy good. in the picture. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. Seems like he would be uh, pretty far behind in the race this point. Look at how cool this fucking game looks. Just, you know. I am back. Did you hear all of that? Sometimes you have to take On a moment run, to... Rania. I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Katniss. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. 
uh, if I give that'd this be a bitch to move. To settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man, or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? I might, uh... I might do another playthrough of this, where I make all the opposite decisions. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Exactly. The way it should be. Fucking Democrats. I found out more about <laughs> Just Cora. Kidding. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Oh, get the coffee. to go to another sector to get coffee. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Probably not, though, I would imagine. like the feel of this game. Although, yeah, I, I don't know, you know, I mean, something like coffee could probably be grown in a hydroponic fashion. Something like, uh, something like meat or livestock. Maybe could be. Yeah. 
Maybe it could be, um... Genetically engineered or whatever, maybe. I don't know. Locked off, huh? Maybe that's something that gets unlocked later. <laughs> Elon Cosmetic Procedures. Change your face. Change your life. Change your face. Change your life. ask you a question I'm busy I just need a minute I'm a structural engineer and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in sector 18 you're not too busy to help prevent that are you I don't know how I can help you I just make deliveries you're driving all the time you see a lot of the city this is actually my first night on the job ah still you've probably seen a lot already Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. <laughs> How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. <laughs> so how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times, and then turn red. Come tell me, okay? Sure. Green what does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? <laughs> no. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange and if they turn purple well that doesn't really matter why not if they turn purple well it's too late for you to do anything anyway what the fuck <laughs> okay Just delivery, but illicit delivery. Can I climb this ladder? Nope. 
Look at that arcade. That's neat. Dreamcast. Oh. Thought there would be something. Damn indie games. Your limited resources. Like imagine if uh imagine if this game had the budget of uh of um a GTA, you know. Well, I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk, so, you know. Kinda, kinda... Ugh. Um... Kinda still, still, uh... I mean, cause, cause Cyberpunk could be this game. <laughs> with, uh, with a bigger budget, basically. <laughs> well, we just have to see. Our circles. Life Corp, become your new perfect. How did I manage to do that? Maybe it just happens on the elevator. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it was supposed to be out by now, right? But it's not coming out until November or something. Apparently they'd rather see people go crazy from sitting inside with coronavirus than, uh, you know, having a nice game they can play. I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, I'm sure there's been, you know, real reasons for the delays. CD Projekt Red is usually pretty good. Let's go get that coffee! I mean, personally, oh shit, whoops. <laughs> personally, I'd rather um, companies like just worked on projects in the background without having to like pre sell them and shit. get as much funding for the game while it's coming out instead of pre-funding them. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Oh, 
I thought that train was coming at me for a second. Dynamite Simpson, huh? Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're oh, not savages. Fanciful. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now... Can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. <laughs> really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this'll look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Hmm. Didn't really have a choice in that. Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. <laughs> I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Remote detonator? What the fuck? Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Hall, though. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Yeah, as far as I can tell, yeah, the writing in this driver. game is pretty decent. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office. A debt corp took my it's allotments. Not... The wounds didn't heal. I One way paid. or the other. I started with Jews and Cringer. worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. Look at that. You know, uh... I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. this i thought i should hand it in to the authorities or someone who might know what to do with it ma'am what is this i don't know i found it i think it might be give it to me now yes i was just going to i came to you is this some kind of scam you know what i'm just going to leave what does this button do 
No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Huh? Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. It sounds like Adam went. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. <laughs> I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. So weird. Uh... So how do I get to that area? Oh, it looks like I need to take the... Teleporter thing. Tunnel. Sex seem about as competent as regular cops. Coffee guy. Let's go get all the shit in this. Eleven hours and thirty minutes. I mean, that's pretty fast. I think. Isn't that fast? Was it new Wind Waker or old Wind Waker? Because, uh, I want to say... I want to say new Wind Waker re uh, removed the RNG, whereas uh, old Wind Waker did not. RNG. Or, or old Wind Waker had the treasure locations be RNG, so you had to... You had to like buy the trash treasure maps or whatever. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. <laughs> we believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? <laughs> Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. 
You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. <laughs> These old games were pretty deep. How did this end that. up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe <laughs> another time. Just the limbs are fine. Can punch people in the street together. Okay. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something? How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot we only shoot targets i believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully uh what about <laughs> pizza better what kind artichoke and avo from the new hipster place uptown uh, oh a swing and a miss sorry coffee guy maybe some other time if i see you here again i'll have thought of something you like rania we'll see <laughs> Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Cafe. Mm -hmm. Go for the. Let's go for the Neva Chino. That's pretty sweet. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. And the camera's just spiel. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. <laughs> I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. He, he was you a, wouldn't understand. a dog AI. You don't sleep. And now he's in my car. I sleep. I my guess you go AI. offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. There was a cute little I stuff. found three different types of things about... Chemis, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Uh-oh. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. 
Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exiv whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? <sighs> More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... <laughs> donut. Oh, no. That's a good idea. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. surprising things is that the writing in this is really not bad at all. Wow, human hand, huh? Oh shit, what we'll break? What we'll broke? Oh shit. I miss all that stuff falling. Yeah. The city's falling apart. Zeno. Hey, you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, 
Created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. <laughs> I want to go in the casino. Oh, here we go. Next mission. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm going to look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. That's a headache, Control. Who's that? Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Oh. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know. Everyone does. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Oh, thanks for the now, info. if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Stop pushing me around, Jimmy. Did I get everything in this area? Or to... No way to uh, no way to look at a different level. I remember Jimmy. I remember he became a streamer and then never streamed in the classic. Wait, am I supposed to go here? I just happen to be in the right spot, huh? Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. My limbs, calm, holocrons, augments. Everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go... 
above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. guy going on the ascension is he really going through with it he says the ascension takes him to the spire it sure does and no further what do you mean it's an escalator to nowhere it just ends then what well then he falls a few miles down into the sea who would build an escalator that goes nowhere you think everything in the city is logical Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? Uh, how's the sake control? <laughs> you don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? Oh, like you know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a cloud punk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to cloud punk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to cloud punk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family, and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, chemists. I have to think. Ah, oh, screw that, man. No interest in, uh... <sighs> delivering it to his family, I mean directly from your I hate doing this. I do my job. Being a delivery driver? No, paying off a dead man's debts. At least we won't get in trouble. I hate this city. Sound good, Control. Well, I'm fine. I, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just... Do your goddamn job. Control out. Huh. Maybe he was not happy with what I chose to do there. I'm just gonna hit up this area before I go. Actually, I sh I'm probably gonna stop the stream pretty soon here. Hey, the gang! I love these guys. Hey, Block 40, are you still fighting the system? Hey, it's Cloudpunk! Damn right we are! We're fucking the ship. 
How exactly are you fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. What's the matter, Cloud Punk? Our speech too fresh for ya? Um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do. It's about what we do and how we do it. I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The corpse don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. You got a problem with that, Cloud Punk? With you making a playground for kids? No, I think it's kind of amazing. You hear that, Razor? She thinks I'm amazing. You're all right, Cloud Punk. You ever get yourself a small human, you bring them here to play on the swings. I love that game. That's such a cool idea. Also, I like that uh, you saw that street uh, cleaning robot guy. It was actually, uh, it actually did do a cleaning. Bunch of little little things like that. Building a motherfucking playground. <laughs> to fuck up the system. <laughs> what a novel uh, character idea. Got all 20 of these, uh, these things as well. Punch cards. This one is behind that uh, security wall that I can't pass. Yet. Alright, I'm gonna do this last quest and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out. Play this game some more later. I mean, I would one sit it, but people don't tend to like it. Such a long time. And there's probably some other stuff I need to do today. I wish I was joking, sweet pea. When I'm like, I just want to do five, six hour streams. Got bitched out by a bunch of people in the mod chat. Guessing that there's probably more than two around. The world. 
Yep, no combat just yet. Just been delivery missions and talking to people, exploring the world. Which is, you know, perfectly fine with me. Banging twos. My character is a musician. I wonder how that's going to come into play. Damn it. delivery driver I'm here to pick up something yes you're here to take our original corbet huh <laughs> it's a painting dear you'll be taking me and mr. Butler too I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers what is all this nonsense mr. Octavius Butler this was all supposed to be arranged didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight I did my love I did there must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going, then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Aww. Oh my, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree, very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you... That's true. It does have strafing. So I don't know. 
hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. Ah, People who argue against oh. free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. She's Some people son. need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. For the Our society has finish. a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. Oh, good. All right. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened yeah. people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> Oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. <laughs> yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my apartment. Deliver the punch cards. God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up, yeah. different in uh, well, any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus, I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's I all we they. can do. Hmm, so... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp-approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune into the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry, dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. I'm liking this song. Hey, Evelyn. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizich locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time and more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. Oh, another 20, huh? Alright. Hopefully this is how I save my game. Or maybe it's auto-save? Old GTA. Pizza!
Okay, it must be auto save. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, probably, probably do some more. Um, but um, yeah, a lot of fun. Pretty cool little indie game. Definitely would recommend. Want to pick it up for yourself.